everybody, we're back playing Warframe and today we're doing syndicates. Let's go and take a look at the sigil. Let's pick a new sigil on our uh, Warframe. So we can pick up the Perrin sequence and that'll allow us to earn some points for the Perrin sequence uh, syndicate. Then we can start earning rewards for those guys. Okay. So let's go and do a uh, rescue mission on Saturn. Prisoner here that is vital to our operations. Search for the holding location. The Grenier deteriorate over time. Is that what makes them violent? Okay, let's do some speed running. We use the shock ability too, we can take them out in big groups. as soon as you can. We don't have much time. Now the more enemies you kill, the more points you'll earn for the uh, syndicate, for the standing. Okay, so we'll head over to where the person is being held captive. the holding area. Careful. Wardens detect you. They will surely initiate the execution sequence. Okay, let's rescue the captive. Prisoner in one of these cells. Hurry up. You are running out of time. Here is. You've located the hostage. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point and I'll take care of the rest. Okay, so now we can just get out. Let's we'll see how many syndicate points we've made. This 
looks bad. Oops, hostage went down. So resurrecting. Surrounded by greens. Make sure I don't lose it this time. Okay, we're almost out. Okay, so we got 859 for the parent sequence. And 4.30 for new loco. Okay, so I'm going to mod my um, Vault Prime and put on a Speed Drift. This is one of the mods I picked up in the um, Lua puzzles. I've got some more points for the parent sequence. So I've almost reached the 5,000 cap. Okay, now we hit 5,000. So now we can go and rank up to the next level. We need a little bit more for new Loka as well. Okay, so now new Loka's at 5,000 as well. We can go and rank uh, both of those up to the next level. So let's go back to the uh, relay. You can see here on the syndicates menu the um, parent sequence and now posting missions that you can do. So we might do some of those later. So let's go to the relay. Down the back of the room. Through this back door. We go down the left corridor in this case. Let's go and find parent sequence. Here they are. Standing. So now we can rank up. We must raise more capital to pursue our goal. We must raise more capital to pursue our goals. These are a bargain, just for you. Okay, so we get a reward. I'm going to pick up the plus five percent. Okay, let's go and see the new logo. Thank you, Joe. Oh, that guy was taking the selfie. You see that? <laughs> You'll have to go back in the video to see that. Give what you can, Tenno, to help us. Give what you can, Tenno, to help us. So we rank up. These offerings are pure. You can pick up the ancient healer. See 
Okay, so I might swap to another syndicate now. This one's the Red Veil. Let's have to take a look. The old may speak of the cleansing fire. We of the Red Veil must burn away this corruption to begin anew. Yeah, charge a spectre. Not the way those guys speak. They sound like they're going to kill you right here and now. <laughs> Let's go to the Steel Meridian. Do not underestimate us. Another roller spectre. And of course lots of mods and things as well. See Cephalon Suda. Advancement imminent. I require more data. So she has a shield Osprey Spectre, which I actually want. So I might uh, sign up for her and do some uh, Suda ranking. So let's join this one. So you can see I'm already negative 3,400, so need to earn that back and then start earning points imminent. I require more data advancement imminent I require more data okay we've done the initiation you are filled with questions that is what makes you surprising cephalon suda likes surprises advancement imminent I require more data so we're gonna need to do a bunch of missions before we can level up on this one So let's go and equip the uh, sigil for Suda. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. So we have to wear this while we do the missions to gain the points. Okay, so let's go back to Saturn. can do Telesto Exterminate. So you can see I got a thousand points that time. Let's do another one. Let's try the defense. thousand two hundred. I'm also getting rank for Arbiters of Hexus as well because they're allies. So you'll get half the points for those allies as well. So we probably need to join the Arbiters of Hexus as well so we can make use of those points. Okay so we've gone positive now with Cephalon Suda. Two and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand. Four and a half. And we've hit five thousand points. So we could go and rank that one now. Go back to the relay and rank it up. Side. 
here is Sudo. Advancement imminent. I require more data. Advancement imminent. I require more data. Okay, let's rank up. And now we can choose the reward, which is the um, shield osprey. I hope these interest you. Okay. So now we can equip these items that we picked up from the uh, syndicates. So I'll equip the uh, ancient healer and the uh, shield osprey. If you remember my video on the uh, the lure puzzles, these are the two spectres that I used in the lure puzzles that you'll need for the uh, endurance test. You can go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. And I'll show you how to complete the endurance test on lure. I will attempt to bypass this vault. I hope these interest you. So you can see uh, pseudo cells, arcwing parts, auto mods, kestrel, obex, and super. So they're all um, weapons, weapon mods. Here we've got um, Warframe mods for Banshee, Chroma, Frost. So I do have the Chroma and the Frost, so I wouldn't mind getting hold of those. Eldrin, Hydroid, I've got the Hydroid. Ivara. Limbo, Mirage, Neza, wouldn't mind getting the Neza mods as well. Nova, Octavia, wouldn't mind getting the hold of those ones. Revenant, and Thorben. So she's got lots of cool mods to, to earn here. So I might spend some time getting those. It's going to be a long-term project. It'll take quite a while to, to buy them all. And there's some weapons here you can collect as well. Some high-level rank 12 weapons. And rank 11. And the Exilus Adapter. So there's quite a lot of cool stuff there that you can earn over time. Let's go and talk to the Arbiters of Hexus. We should join their clan. You are on the verge of a new truth. So again, they've got some Arcwing weapon parts. Burst and Prime, Draw Sword, oh somebody just blessed me, <laughs> okay, Draw uh, Sword, what else have we got, it's got Ash Warframe mods, Equinox, Excalibur, Limbo, we've seen the Limbo ones, Loki, Mirage, Nyx. Okay, so not, not so many here. 
but there are some uh, special weapons here as well. The Telos Akbolto, which is a rank 11 weapon. It's quite high. And the Boltor, which is rank 12. And Bolt Ace, which is rank 11. So some high level weapons that you can earn as well. Take a look at the uh, Steel Meridian, see what they have to offer. Do not underestimate us. So we've got the roller ball. Got the uh, Queen weapon mods. So weapons, heck, dual cleavers, mitre, and sobek, so they're all weapons. Got the Atlas Warframe mods. I've got one of those. Ember Warframe. Excalibur, we've seen those. There is a bit of crossover between them. The Frost, we've seen those before. Garuda. Grendel. Korra. Oh, the Korra ones look good. Wouldn't mind getting hold of those. Korra is quite a good Warframe. Uh, Misa. Misa Prime. Neza. Seen Neza before. Nidus, Nova, Oberon, the Rhino, and Saren. The Saren mods would be good too. I look forward to getting hold of those. And we've got a couple of weapons on the end here too. Vakor, Merilok. They call heck rank 12 weapons in the side on, which is a melee weapon. All right, so we can leave now. So that's the end of this episode guys, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.